As a relatively new framework, SASE sometimes causes confusion. So let's take a look at the top 10 industry-wide misconceptions to help clarify what it does and doesn't do. First, SASE is not a product, but an architectural framework for cloud delivered networking and security capabilities. So you can connect to the applications you need to be more productive. A comprehensive SASE solution does require upfront investment, but combining networking and security will pay off in the long term, delivering a scalable foundation for growth. While SASE leverages edge computing to address bandwidth and latency issues by delivering applications closer to end users, edge is just one element of a much wider framework. SASE builds upon the key principles of zero trust, identifying users, devices, and applications regardless of their connection location. SASE is delivered via the cloud and priced per user, so the barrier for entry is low enough for even small and mid-sized enterprises to pursue. SASE takes the SD-WAN model further by creating a unified framework for SD-WAN and security services to connect to, providing a single point of view and a simplified management approach to protect the network. SASE is more than just migrating point solutions to the cloud. It helps simplify the complex web of network and security solutions by replacing them with a unified cloud-native service. If you're viewing your legacy architecture as a barrier, it's actually a main incentive to pursue SASE, simplifying your IT environment and reducing operational costs in the process. You can migrate from MPLS to leverage SASE solutions, routing traffic to a POP instead of backhauling traffic to the data center. With SASE, management complexity doesn't grow in step with the network because a single cloud-based management application can provide control across the entire service portfolio with unifying controls. Does that clear things up? Sassy, where will it take you?